Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bunny Upper here. Today we're going to talk about my Defense Mechanisms Mission Essential Plate Carrier, or MEPC, and how I set it up. Giving you a little bit of overview, the MEPC is basically a minimalist plate carrier setup that's designed for you to build up from there based on what your needs are. You can go to their website for the plate carrier description, as well as different configurations and options for you to set up your plate carrier however you need. Before we get into the setup, if you've followed my channel for some time now, you'll know that my preferred plate carrier system is the Velocity System Scarab, which you'll see the multicam version that I have here. And I'll link that video up in the corner for you, but we'll get into this setup later. Okay, on to the carrier. I originally had this setup using the STAC Kiwi placard. This is the M4 placard, their tall placard. Very similar to the Scarab I just showed you, except that one uses 762. Now I wanted the ability to run 762 mags should I want to, so I opted to go for the Haley Strategic D3CR Micro instead and opt to also have their 762 placards. These are older ones, but essentially I can swap the inserts out between the M4 ones that you see here to the 762 inserts that you see here. And that gives me a little bit more versatility in how I want to set up my system. Now I originally ordered the MEPC in a small size, in 8x10 specifically, in order to try out the HESCO L210s in 8x10 to see if that would fit my body type a little bit more. And if you're unsure about your plate size, I'll go ahead and link a video up here, specifically going over how to measure yourself or at least give you a guide on how to figure out what plate size fits you best before you decide to determine what plate carrier will fit you. Ultimately, I decided on the HESCO M210 plates, which I will also link a video up here for you to kind of show you the differences and why I opted to go for that. Now, as far as this setup goes, once again, this is the Haley Strategic D3CR Micro, and it is held on by Swift Clips. You can see that it's Velcroed on along the Swift Clip system. This is a Haley Strategic Dangler down here. And as far as the cummerbund goes, I did originally use the Defense Mechanisms uh, cummerbund, but it wasn't my preference. So I contacted my buddy Austin over at NA Tactical and asked him to make me a skeletonized cummerbund, really because this was going to be the Multicam Tropic kit and the one I probably use in more warmer weather. So I want a little bit of skeletonization. So I had him make me that. And on the left side, here's actually a Defense Mechanisms uh, tourniquet wing here which I do have a tourniquet mounted. And on the left side, I have um, Blue Force Gear M4 pouches, the dual side hooked on to the cummerbund. And this is so I can run additional accessories, but mainly so I can throw 20 rounders in here should I want the ability to use a 20 rounder. And sometimes the 30 rounders, I tend to run my 30 rounders with ranger plates on them. They stick up a little too high and they kind of dig into my armpit. So I prefer the 20s. Even with a ranger plate on the 20s, they work much better for me. On the right side, well, there's nothing on the right side. But you notice that there are the XL um, placard retention clips here that I'm using. And that is really to integrate with the sides of the micro just to kind of snug it up and hold it a little bit tighter to my body. I find that really helps and prevents the micro from flopping around uh, because it is connected by the swift clip plus the Velcro, but sometimes you just want a little bit more pressure pulling on the side just to kind of keep it a little more stable when you're moving around. And that's my preference. So far, so good. I found that to work really well and uh, it just feels better because it does snug up the, the, uh, the cummerbund system or at least the entire plate carrier into your body a little bit. So the MEPC, the front of the placard is basically bare. It's, it's soft loop Velcro, which is basically this soft loop side. And that's the entire bottom half. The top half contains also soft Velcro, but they are mollies. It's molly looped, so you can integrate stuff uh, however you need to. In this case, I just use it as a patch panel. And you can see that I have my buddy Kieran over at Distaste, he's a clothing company. He made a patch and sent one out to me, so you know, I thought I'd support him and rock that out. And the Mepsi's front has an admin pouch up here that you can use. You can throw whatever you want, snacks, Skittles, and such. 
But uh, going back to the micro here, the, the reason why I swapped from the S-Tac was to have versatility in the placards. Granted, I could also get a 7.62 placard if I wanted to, but um, I also found that I was missing the desire to have a front pouch to store things like my cell phone or whatever my uh, everyday items are if I was out in the range. Uh, even though I have a range back there, sometimes you just need stuff that's on hand, like my um, multi-tool or anything else. So the little bit of additional space helps. Granted, I can always molly stuff to the front of the S-Tac placard, but it's, it's just kind of not really the same. For the back of the MEPC, I opted for the fold molly version. There is a version with just a single molly Velcro strip that's here, but I'm not entirely sure why you would want it to flick slide because, well, the Molly version is the same thing. It just gives you more options over just that. So in my recommendation, if you're on the fence, just get the full Molly version. The back, the Mepsi basically unfolds out and lets you throw your plates in and it folds in within itself. And uh, there are a bunch of other videos that really talk about that. It's pretty standard. So if you want a more in depth of the features of the Mepsi, I'd probably say go visit EOD Fish's video. He's pretty good at that stuff. I'm basically just showing you how I have mine set up. And of course, um, American flag patch in the back. As far as the shoulder pads, the ones that Defense Mechanisms offers to you, it's basically just a sleeve. It's not really padded, so I opted for the ones from a and Tactical, of course, because that's my buddy. Let me move, my, let me move these mags out of the way here. And so they are padded and they are trifold, so you can mold them and fit them in however you need to. Uh, so, so that's pretty much it. And it kind of just match the mesh in the back and just makes it a little bit more comfortable. They do have a full mesh version from a, &A Tactical, which doesn't have, uh, which is full mesh and won't have the camo pattern here, but because I like Multicam Tropic, I decided to opt for that version instead. Onto the plate fitment portion. Now, if you watch the HESCO M210 video that I linked earlier, I referenced that I was checking to see if the M210s would fit into the medium plate carrier, which is, this is a medium MEPC, and it does. There is minimal slop in there between the plate and the bag itself. It's, I'm pinching it right now, and, and really, I think if the M210s came in a 3810 package, HESCO 3810 level three plates, which are one inch thicker when the M210s are basically a multi-curve L210, then I think it would still fit here just fine. I have noticed with my 8x10 that the 8x10 L210 fit perfectly, but when I threw in an 8x10 3810, the bottom of the plate bag had a little bit of trouble closing. Like I really had to stretch that and it had exposed male side Velcro, which kind of jacks up your clothing depending on what you're doing really. And, and that's not really too much of a problem, but it's just annoying. Basically, the plate bags are made specifically for the plate size that you're intending to use. So if you're using a thicker plate, then you may have a little bit more difficulty or it's not your preference to use that particular plate in the MEPSI itself. But for the most part, it's a great carrier, I think. Of that being said, it is to my understanding that Defense Mechanisms has come out with a different small size plate carrier that's specifically designed for small sappies. And I think that would also have been fine to hold the HESCO M210 small size plates, which are 9x11 versus the 8x10 of the small shooter cut L210 and the large 10x12 of the L210. So that would essentially make the small 8x10 in MEPC that I have in my possession basically only for the 8x10 shooter cut plates which is fine, but it is really small. Just note that it's kind of the size of a child or a really small frame person. So if you're petite framed and that works for you, then that's probably the best choice for you. But for folks like me who are basically smaller statured, but not quite small, but not quite medium, I guess we'd be medium. Either or would work, either the small or the medium, whether you run 10 by 12 plates or you run these nine by 11s or even eight by 10, or any of the small size plates such as the sappies, then you're probably okay. It's just up to you, your preference, your body type. If you have any questions about my setup or just general questions or comments, go ahead and let me know below. Check out the video description for discount codes from my friends in the industry. If you need holsters, use my discount code from LAS Concealment. I exclusively use their holsters because I honestly think that they're one of the better designs that are out there. My discount code is BUNNY. 
for soft goods, check out a &A Tactical. They're the ones that made this cummerbund as well as the cummerbund on my other plate carriers and the CQ Bunny, which is an idea that I came up with and had a, &A Tactical create for me, but now it's a dedicated item on their website. I don't get anything out of it, it's just a design and they decided to name it after me because it was my idea. So that's cool for them. So if you want something like that and have a more snug chest rig, use my discount code for them should you want anything from there. Expect a future video out on that later. Please do like the video and forward it to anybody who you think it could help. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Bunny Operator, signing out.